Natasha from BCAT and I'm going to tell you about easy mono printing. Why is this easy? Well, it's because we don't need to use a roller or ink. We just need to use wax crayons. So, all you need is, of course, the wax crayons. I'm taking away a lighter one. You do not need a lighter one. You need scissors and a pen and a piece of plain paper. Also, some masking tape and an image that you really like. I have photocopied mine, but you could um, rip out the image straight away if you wanted to, if you no longer needed it. So, I have got my darker crayons and the lighter ones won't show up on a white piece of paper so I haven't used those but if you're using different colored paper maybe you can experiment with the crayons I've chosen a red one so let's get started shall we yes you do need your image that you have chosen and with that image of course you can still cut cut it out or rip it out um, but I chose to use a photocopy. The first thing that you will need is your photocopy and with that photocopy just put it to the side for a minute and get the white plain piece of paper that your image is going to be printed on. It is very important to secure the paper onto the table. So get a little section of your masking tape and cut it roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then put it on the top of your piece of paper. Remember not to press down too hard or oh, the masking tape will be very difficult to get off the piece of paper and may even rip it. So I've got my image now that I photocopied and I turn that over. Of course if you didn't photocopy yours just turn it over and do the same thing. And you get your crayon of choice, your dark crayon and you start to basically scribble all over it. Don't go too lightly or the mono print will not be able to print very well. So you want to go as hard as you can, trying to carefully not to have any holes or gaps. Go over a section a couple of times before you move on. Now mine is a bit easier because I can see the image through my piece of paper. But if you cannot, you'll need to keep turning over and checking that you're getting every single part. So make sure all of the white bits are not shown and go over and over and over the image with your crayon. So that's me checking there. And I'm quite happy with some of them, but I still think there's a few little bits that I need to go over because I want my print to be really good. Once you're happy with your colouring, then you just put the red to the side or whichever colour you have chosen and turn over. There's a few little bits that are there, so just make sure they're not going onto the piece of paper that you're printing on. You turn it over. And then I can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm going to get my scissors now just to cut around the image. Make sure that if you are using scissors that an adult is there with you. Because um, it can be quite dangerous scissors. So make sure you are with an adult if you are not old enough to use them by yourself. So I cut round the image now and once the image is cut out you have got your printing. Again a few little bits might come on so just brush them to the side. Then um, I want to do three images of the same one. You could have different images if you wanted to and I'm going to secure it in place with a, another piece of masking tape. 
um, of using two just to be sure. And of course, don't press too hard again because you want that image, the masking tape, to be able to come off. So then I take my pen and I go around the image, going around carefully all of the lines and the shapes. Um, if you colour in the nose like I did there, or colour in the eye, of course that would be all red. I'm just changing the image a little bit, which you can do. You could take the image that you want and then add extra bits to it to make it look even more interesting and more of your own design. So I'm going over the fingers now carefully, making sure I am hitting each line. Of course, you can always lift the image back up just to check which lines that you have and haven't done. Um, don't forget shading as well. Once you've gone round an image's outline, you can look at the parts that could be shaded and you don't need to colour it in. You could do lines like I'm doing there. And lines again for my shading here. So um, I shaded in quite a bit now and I feel like I have finished. So then... You just lift off the image and you have a print. What I find is helpful. Oh, yes, I did miss out that nose part. So I could, it's very hard to put it back on. So I would just get uh, the crayon and probably fill that in. Use the masking tape also just to get off all those little bits of crayon so they don't smudge your work. Um, it's very handy, like a little eraser. And of course, then I have my one image. I can reuse this one or print it again. And then you can have three images or as many as you want. You could have different colours. You could do a background to your work. I just did a simple th three images and then I put them in a frame. I would love to see what you have produced and what images you have done, especially if you've done a background. Maybe you could do a background with mono printing as well. This is Natasha from BCAT. Make sure you check out the other videos that we have got and have a good creative day.